Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White here. Uh, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I do all the Leco problems. If you want to see something explained or just see how it works, just check them out. Uh, this one is called Backspace String Compare. It's classified as a two-pointer problem on LeetCode. Um, I guess it kind of is. Uh, so let's just do it. Uh, given two strings S and T, return if they are equal when they're both typed into empty text editors. A hash symbol means a backspace character. So if we see a hash symbol, we're deleting the character right before it. So we see here A, B, hash symbol C, or A, D, hash symbol C. So we would delete the D, we would delete the B, we'd have A, C, A, C, they're the same, that's true. Uh, both. Of, this is two hash symbols, there's two letters, we delete them both, same here. They both are empty strings, same thing. You kind of get it, think about it a little more if you don't, it's pretty easy. So the method here is basically we set a pointer to the ends of both of these strings, and we loop through backwards through both of the strings, letter by letter, and if we see a hash symbol, we'll keep track of that using a hat like a deletion variable so we'll have a we'll have like a skip variable we'll imp increment the skip variable and then if we see something that isn't a hash symbol and the skip variable is greater than zero uh, we'll just skip that letter and then once we get to the end of all that crap we'll just make sure whatever's left over is the same so it's kind of a long problem so let's just get started here so you could have uh, you got to have the pointers so s pointer and t pointer we'll call them uh, so s pointer will be set to s dot length minus one to the end of the s string and t pointer will be set to the end of the t string and then we'll have our skip variables so s skips will be set to zero and then t skips will be set to zero as well and then we'll have our loop condition. So this is our loop condition. So we're going to make sure that S pointer is greater than or equal to zero, or T is greater than or equal to zero. T pointer is greater than or equal to zero. Um, because this is the loop, we're looping backwards for both of them. We want to make sure that we're getting to the end of both of them. Uh, and then we're going to have these little sub loops. So while S pointer is greater than or equal to zero, um, we're going to do our first check if s dot char at s pointer so if the last character that would be our first check here um, sorry is equal to the hash character and you gotta make sure you have single quotes here for a character in java um, then we see the hash character we increment our skips variable so our s skips variable gets incremented because we're gonna have to skip the next letter and then we decrement our s pointer to go to the next letter before you know just a decrementing loop thing uh, else that means else if that means we don't see the hash symbol anymore but if we don't if we see an actual letter now but we have if our skips variable is greater than one, so that if we see an actual letter but our um, skips variable is greater than zero, then we will just skip the letter. Screw the letter. Screw the letter. We got to delete it basically. So we just decrement our pointer, um, and then we can decrement our skips variable now because we used that skip. Uh, otherwise, we just break. And this is the exact same loop for the T stuff. It's kind of a long solution here, so I don't want to waste everyone's time. So we just got to change the while well, T pointer is greater than or equal to zero, while T dot char at T pointer is equal to the hash symbol, T skips plus equals one, T pointer minus equals one, T skips is greater than zero, T pointer minus equals one, T skips minus equals one. Uh, same stuff. And then we just have now, once we get through both of these loops, we've gone through both of those strings, and we've skipped all the letters we needed to skip. We did these little backspace things, and now we have the meat and potatoes. We got whatever we actually need left. So if s skips is greater than or equal to zero, and we got to make sure that t skips is also greater than or equal to zero, and s, s dot char at s pointer is not equal to t dot char at t pointer then we return false. So
so this basically is when we have whatever's left. So in this case, we'd have AC left on both of them. So now we have AC left and we're still looping backwards, but we want to make sure that the characters are the same. So if we had AC and AB, we would want to give it a false because the B and the C have to be the same. So AC and AC, we see the C and the C, keep going, the A and the A, and then we're going to be good if we make it after that. If we make it after all that, then we can return true. And we're going to keep decrementing our pointers here, obviously, backwards, because we made it to the, we made it past everything, we just got to keep decrementing throughout all these loops. And then there's one last check that we got to do, is the kind of like the lengths. So if, let's say one of these was AC and one of them was just A, we got to check the lengths. Which, so all we have to do to do that is if S pointer is greater than or equal to zero um, is not equal to T pointer is greater than or equal to zero, return false. And this was our last final check here because this would do, as we go through everything, if one of the pointers hits zero before the other one, that means the lengths are different at the, ends of, at the end of this loop thing. And if the lengths are different, they're obviously not the same uh, because, you know, S pointer, if S pointer is greater than or equal to zero still and it, T pointer is not, so this would be true and this would be false, then we would have to return false because if the lengths are different, that's obviously not going to be the same string. Uh, so this is actually a longer one. Hopefully this works first try. Uh, I was messing up a little bit here earlier because it is longer. Oh my gosh. Suspense, guys. Suspenseful. Oh no. String index out of range. What did I do? T pointer. S dot chart. S pointer. T dot chart. T pointer. S skips is greater than or equal to zero. Oh, sorry. S pointer. Greater than or equal to Yeah, see, it's kind of longer, so you do make syntax errors here uh, once in a while. There we go. We got the success. Um, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys understand that. It's a long one, so it was a little harder to explain. Basically, you're going backwards. You're doing all the skips, and you're comparing at the end. You got all these loops going on. Um, but yeah, it's a pr I think it's a really cool problem. I like it a lot, so... Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out all the other videos and uh, yeah, do them all. So, see you guys.